King Arms M79 grenade launcher with tag in Paladin chalk round versus. If you stick around to the end, we are going to be doing a bunch of firing demonstrations with this thing. Hey, it's Ghost with Combat Sports Supply, and today we're going over the King Arms M79 grenade launcher. The M79 started off life in the Vietnam War. For starters, this is not a China Lake. It is more commonly referred to as a thumper, thump gun, or blooper. Most of you would know it as the original Noob 2. Now the M79 was designed to fill a niche role in the military to bridge the gap between a mortar system and a rifle grenade to provide better anti-personnel services for infantry. The King Arms M79 is a very faithful replica with the only major difference being the fact that the barrel and accessories are not made out of steel, they are made out of aluminum. So the M79 has a rubberized butt pad on an actual wood stock. It has your safety just below the breech mechanism to your barrel. The trigger guard can be folded for easier storage if necessary. It does have your actual flip up grenade sight. This is your standard iron sights for when you're direct firing. There's a button on the side over here that you would press down to release it and put your range sight up. The range sight has the adjustable sight bar on it that goes up and down. It does have your range indicators on it. Now normally on the real one this would be in meters. However, this one would probably be more accurate in feet, if that. And all of that lines up with this. As far as your breach, this is a break action style grenade launcher. So it's got the swing over side and it will pop open. This is the ejector clip for the actual rounds. It is spring-loaded, so when you seat around in it, it will stop on this lip, and then you would just seal it closed again. So to demonstrate loading this with that tooth, you can see the round gets stuck on it. Seal it up, fire it, pop it back open, that ejector will pop the round out to where you can grab it and pull it out. So on the bottom of this, we have your sling points, your stock attachment, your trigger guard and your trigger and your front sling attachment and front hand guard. One neat feature about the M79's trigger guard here is if you're firing this in cold weather, the trigger guard would get in the way with your thick gloves. You can press this button, and whether you're left or right-handed, it will fold out of the way, so you can then still reach the trigger. But if you're afraid of it getting bumped while you're playing or messing around with it, it is a screw cap, so you can screw it down to the point where it can't be released. The M79 is an incredibly simplistic launcher, but that's what makes it so nice, because it's gonna just keep functioning. And to come down to the biggest argument, the rounds you're using in your grenade launcher are probably more important than the launcher itself. As far as the variety of rounds this will use, We've attempted to use tagins, both chalk and pecker rounds, and they all work great. King Arms M79 launcher with the CO2 tagin paladin chalk round versus Chuck. The VX1 round by Matrix also works very well. I haven't found a single shotgun shell that doesn't work. A shower shell. Let's see the spread on these three guys here. <laughs> and even the paintball style shells will work. These will fire paintball, chalk, BBs, you name it. But they'll also fire something else. These are footballs. To fire that Nerf football, you'd need to fill this up with gas, don't load anything else in it. Load it into your M79. Now once you've got your round loaded in the back, you're going to take your Nerf Vortex rocket, and the fins are going to be slightly larger than the barrel, so you'll have to twist it in. And then you want to seat it down in there a little bit to air seal it. Go long, Moose. Oh, my! <laughs> Don't be a fool!